Excuse me, handsome man. What, did you walk out of a J. Crew catalog? Do you want to be part of a dating game? Excuse me, sir. Would you like to play a dating game and meet the love of your life today? Sure, why not? Are you single? Are you single? Where are you guys from? From Belgium. Belgium, Belgium. <laughs> I love your beer! Excuse me, miss. Would you like to take part in a dating game, which is going to happen, <laughs> like, right now? Sure. All right, so we've just brought up all of our contestants from the street. The Bachelorette has not yet seen any of the bachelors. She's going to ask the men a series of questions, and based on their answers, we'll pick her favorite. Do you guys feel the romance in the room? We do. All right, let's get started. Welcome to the game, everybody. We're very happy to have you all here. Uh, first off, we have our lovely bachelorette, Danny. right? Is that your name? That is, yes. How do you spell Danny? D-A-N-I. Oh, wonderful. It sounds like you have an accent. Where are you from? I'm originally from South Africa. Oh, can I play? No. <laughs> Danny, we're going to introduce to you our bachelors without giving away their names. Dave, do you want to tell us who we have here? Bachelor number one, just tell us uh, where you're from. I'm from Belgium. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mmm, pistache. Oh, so mysterious. Bachelor number two, where are you from? Bronx, New York. I'm Italian. Oh, <laughs> pizza. Hey, how you doing? All right. Bachelor number three, where are you from? From Brussels. What? OK. Danny, we've met the bachelors. Are you ready to play the game? Let's do it. You see me in the park and want to ask me out. What's your opening line? We're going to start with bachelor number one. Girl, uh, I have a, I have an apartment over here at the uh, Central Park. Uh, wow. Let me have a cup of coffee with you. That was like a Belgian man trying to impersonate an American man. <laughs> bachelor number three, um, what would be your opening line? I'll ask you, uh, do you have Tinder? And if you say yes, I'll swipe you to the right. It's time for dinner, and you have absolutely no money. How do you feed me? How would you feed her? You have no money. If you go on a date with me, you'll no, you won't be hungry. That might have been romantic or really sexual and creepy. I don't know. Bachelor number two. Um, go punch the guy at McDonald's in the face. You have no money, bachelor number one. She's hungry. How do you feed her? I guess I take her to a restaurant, nice restaurant. Not able to pay, so I guess uh, in the end I'll uh, need to clean the dishes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. But she can't. won't know. She won't know. We're in the bedroom, making love, and you can only make animal noises the whole time. What would it be? What would that sound like? <coughs> Bachelor number two, let's hear it. <coughs> what would be the animal noise that you would make? <coughs> oh, I could see how that's functional, too. <laughs> Bachelor number one made that sound because he's indicating something else about himself. Oh, <laughs> he likes galloping. I that's get not it. what I meant. Danny, let me ask you, of these three gentlemen, who is it that you would like to spend the rest of your life with? Do you think it would be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Bachelor number one. Give it up for Carl, everybody. Danny, please rise and meet Carl in the center. Say hello. Oh. Nice to meet you. Ooh, he kissed her on the cheek. This is real. I love it. What? Guys, we like to uh, share the first dance with every couple. So if you guys would just assume the position. Dave, you want to explain to Danny what she needs to do? Uh, Danny, just interlock your fingers behind his head. As the lady, you want to show your date that he's not going anywhere. Oh, that's a little close. Okay. Leave a little bit more room for Jesus, maybe. Just here. <laughs> Thank you. And we're going to sway just like this. This is really nice. I know you can't hear the music, but we hear it inside of our minds. Well, guys, you can refrain from dancing. I appreciate you indulging us. Do you have any plans for this, this lovely date? Still staying over here. Uh, that's an important question. I actually do have an apartment in the city. Oh, oh touche. Yeah. Um, we'll see whether you get an invite. <laughs> I like it. She's got sass. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. See you next time, guys. Thank you for watching our majestic show. All right, that's enough, Bjork. If you'd like to watch more episodes, you can subscribe to Above Average. And you should, I'm sorry, subscribe to Dave and Ethan also. I'd love Bjork. I don't love you. Ha <laughs> ha